All right, people, welcome back to the league. Woo! This is the final week of the regular season. After this, we're going to the final play. countdown. Oh, it's the final limited at one. countdown. <laughs> That's all you can sing. I know, because you can't sing anymore. You'll get copyright infringement immediately. Anyway, people, this is season one, week seven, match one. We have... This... Go ahead. You want to go ahead and say it? All right. And yeah, go on. All right. This is between... The uh, Yuma Utopians, aka Pops, whose decks are Necros, Volcanics, and Light Spawns, and has one point, versus the Yuya Pendulum Dragons, Mao, whose decks are Pendulum Magicians, Evil Swarm, and Evil Swords, and has four points. It is a divisional match. There we go. Okay. It is a divisional match. But uh, let's just go over the point system and. Uh... Kind of spoil what's going on. So you can tell by the title, it is <laughs> Evil Swarms versus Light Swarms. So mm -hmm. if Evil Swarms win, uh, Mal will get one point, and uh, even if Ryan loses, that would be five points to five points. And of course, in the divisional match, Ryan won. So uh, there is no way that uh, Mal can get the bye week. So there's nothing going on there. On the other hand, the Yuma Utopians. Uh, if the Yuma Utopians win, they will receive two points, put them at three, and that will not be enough to catch up. So they're still dropped. So I guess this video, this door right here, really is just for entertainment's sakes. No positions yeah. will be changed, no matter who wins. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So enjoy the entertainment. Woo! Yes! So let's see if Ophion can lock it down. All right. So we see, uh, you know, Aaron go ahead and uh, mill it up. We see a dragon, so. Yeah. Yep, that's... So one of them getting... Yeah, one of them's getting chain. chain. Right. I mean, I guess. Pandemic, why not? So we yeah. saw we saw a mulligan going first by uh by uh, who did the mulligan? Pops. Pops. So once again, one mulligan per duel. And I said, out of all the rules that we established in this league, I definitely think I like that rule. It's probably yeah. one of my favorite rules. There are, I mean, we've had I think it's been like two or three times in this league where uh, we've had duels which would have been complete and utter shit, and actually became pretty decent or nice and entertaining and watchable just because the player who opened shit could mulligan. Mm -hmm. So, so you see, we see a Thunderbird, two Thunderbirds. One Thunderbird tries to attack over the Aaron, but damn, there's that Honest. Yeah, should not even be at one. It should be banned. It's a horrible You know what guy. I hate about Honest? What? When people always try to overcomplicate Honest. Yeah. I hate that shit. They're like, well, my monster gains your monster's attack, so it's I do like that you mask. just take the attack yeah. of your fucking monster. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's so dumb. Oh. Like, just take the attack of the monster. <laughs> I know. I just hate Honest because it's just a blatantly unfair card. Like, oh, I'm playing the light deck, so I just get to w automatically win a battle phase. Like, mm-hmm. Uh, fucking what? Cosmos are not helping. Like, not at all. Nope. Oh, we see that it's someone with a light light. Seems like uh, Pops here is going to try to clean up that back row. Mm -hmm. So either you use some back row on the Lila now, or the Lila's going to get you anyway. You know, unless you have some kind of Phoenix Chain at Breakthrough skill. So you see Mal thinking here. But overall, I mean, this matchup is meh. I'd say it's meh. Because, you yeah. know, the Evil Swarms are good because... You no know, Michael, no, you know, no JD, no JD. Which is great, but, you know, of course... Light Swarms do have access to uh, some powerful rank 4, so if you can just go ahead and get your helmet on, that's great. Wow, another there dragon. Another dragon, so wow. we are so a lot of and then and there's it's another. just gone. Gone. Just, gone. just gone. Holy nope. crap. Just cleaning it up, people. Just cleaning up that back row. <laughs> and Vanity's gone. Wow, yep. Solomon Vanity's, but number generated. Don't hey, hey. <laughs> you know, uh, I know, I saw your comment. I know you saw... Uh, one of our uh, fellow YouTubers, uh, Epic, and he tried to do that freaking like number generator test. But like, well, I, I saw that video and I commented on it. I said that I didn't think it was an accurate test because it was it was at way over forty cards. Like the thing, the point of the number generator, if you're going to test it right, is the f is to run forty cards because that's what most people run in their deck and to run like an amount of one ofs and two ofs that people would run. So like you run maybe two you know, two ofs. That's four cards that are at two, you know, and which because most people don't even run that. Some people only run like say a double dark hold or you know, they don't really run four fucking cards that are at two, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Okay, but you know, and then maybe put 
you know, six or seven one of cards in the deck and the rest be three of cards and then run it that way, run the test that way, rather than be like, oh, there's five one of cards, there's five sets of two of cards, which make it ten two of cards, technically, you know, and then there's uh, oh, everything oh, else on, is just that three BLS, of But that black yeah. one, though, ooh, that main that deck black one. says, fuck you. You know, like I said, well, just, just, just if I'm, 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 I'm assuming that he's watching this. If not, then okay. Uh, do a hero deck. Do a hero deck. Run two Dark Holes. Run two Summoner Monks. Because, like I said, semi-limited is, of course, the smallest of the list. There's not a lot of semi-limited cards. You know, heroes run two Bubble Man. So, see that. There's your semi-limited list. But then, run uh, like at, run at least five cards at one. You know? Run the Regeki, the, you know, the Solemn Morning, the Vanity. And then... Do that way. See that system because, as I said, a handful of times, the, the 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 proof is in the pudding. Yeah, I mean, how many times have you opened up with fucking a form? All of the Bell? fucking time. You know, a form of Bell. Tell- I run Every- one Mystic Tomato. Draw that. Sometimes I run one Rota. I draw that. You know, some Soul Charge, Torrental Tribute, Regaki. Like I said, the number generator is just crazy. I think <laughs> I got a time. I got a time on Dev Pro, not DM, but on Dev Pro, where the guy get, hit me with fucking seven cards at one. Seven cards at one. In his first over, ten cards. In his first like ten cards, yeah. Seven out of his first ten cards were cards at one. Mhm. I was like, what in the fuck is this bullshit? Yep. Yeah. So if you want to go ahead and take the time, do the math, and redo that test, Mr. Epic, then we gladly appreciate it, because, you know, we totally need some proof in the pudding. Yeah. Yeah. Because then now we got the Sigma room saying that, you know, no matter how much skill there is, of course there's luck, which is obviously right, but then, yeah. you know, we got Slate and RJB0 saying, like, oh no, there's oh, no luck, luck in Yu-Gi-Oh. doesn't exist, no. Like... Like I said, I I think uh, one time I had a little not argument with Slate, but I said to him like we don't we we sort of get along and then we don't at times. It's weird how me and Slate are, because like he'll say something and I'll be like, no, that's fucking wrong. You're an idiot, and then he'll just take offense to me calling him an idiot. I'm like, I'm being truthful. You're being fucking stupid. Do you want me to lie to you and say that you're being clever and smart? I'll be honest with you and say you're being fucking stupid if you're being stupid. Sorry, if you take offense to that. But anyway. He was saying, like, um, oh, there's, uh, you know, the only... Oh, God. Another, another yeah. JD? Uh, another Blackhorn? Got another Blackhorn? Oh, no. JD? It was oh. great that you Blackhorn the BLS, but... He's going to get you with JD. that JD. Yep. Yeah. I was saying chain? to... Uh, oh. Oh, oh, what? Oh, shit. Oh, shit? Fingers chain? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, it's just turning Thunderbird. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I, oh, and the one pandemic you must run because no one ever runs more than fucking one pandemic. Yep. Not pandemic. Um, and you never summoned Dolphy on this entire duel, so I know you didn't. Yeah. So you correct. Yeah. Just weird that you never. I, you just really. So how many? Person. How many cards was that out of one? Three. Three of one. Three a one lot, cards. A lot. In the first opening ten. Yeah. Like I said, oh, epic, and also do do first ten, do do opening five hand, and then five turns in. Do ten, and yeah. test that, because you know. Uh, 20, 25% of the deck of 40 and let's see what you get. Yeah, but like I was, I was saying to uh, Slate at the time, um, he was like, oh, well, there's no uh, such thing as luck in Yu-Gi-Oh! It's only skill in deck building and uh, stuff like that and, you know, making your deck consistent. And I pointed out to him, because remember, a bit ago, for any new uh, viewers or watchers of the league who don't know, when Daniel hit 1k subs, he had a... Uh, tag partner tournament and I was in it and I faced Slate in the finals and in game two Slate opened up what was it triple Mally mm-hmm. how the so, but but by Slate's own logic then that means that it wasn't luck yeah. that gave him them yeah. triple Mallies it was his own crappy debt building skill by his own logic yeah. I'm not putting words in his mouth yeah. so, so, so guys if you're running a deck that runs Mally and you're on triple of it you're bad because yeah, you bad. have a chance of risking drawing all three of them. Yeah. That sounds so retarded. Anyway, did you see yeah, that compulse? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. But number generator doesn't exist. All right. So now the question is, can Mal just hold it off? Because it really looks like... Uh, 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 Phoenix oh. Shade? Locking it down. Now it's top decking. Maybe Mal could possibly hold it down and win. You could just light point loss and holding it down with the back row. Maybe. Of course, the one one's gonna kill Delilah. It's gonna be eleven. One more attack. One Honest? more attack. Oh no, Honest? no, no! Oh. Blocking with Gardner. Okay, interesting. 
I mean, so it's not I like the light was really thin. Or something, you or gotta ride it in hand or something. I don't know. Or maybe a Minerva and make a six, make a Goya. Hmm. Nope. Another light. It's weird. Instead of letting that one die, you stopped it. I would have said I would have left the uh, gardener in there since if you had another one. Hmm. Okay. I think that might be it. Summon Michael Banish, yeah, in attack game. Yep. Unless that's something in your hand. Doesn't look like it. Nope. Nope. I game. Yep. All right. Well, game one goes to Pops. And like I said, it seems like Pops just wasn't. I'm not saying Pops is a bad duelist. He he just was having a hard time, and yeah, uh, he's actually getting some victories and actually doing something at the end. But it's too late. Yeah, it is. It's just he got fucked all the way up to this point, really. Like, it was either bad matchups, bad draws, or just a, maybe, I think, one game, like, he lost because he misplayed, I think. Mm-hmm. You know? And I'm talking game, not match. Game. But it was probably, I think it was, like, a deciding game in the match, you know? Yeah. But hey, that's it. That's the league for you people. Yeah. So, anyway, I hope that you guys are ready for the playoffs. Uh, the way I'm going to do it is, of course, I'm going to give you guys a recap of the end of Week 7. I'm not sure if it's going to be in the same video. It's probably going to be in the same video because I don't want to waste your time. It's going to be in the same video. I'm pretty much going to explain how the playoffs are going to go and how that whole system works. And the next weekend, we're just going to jump right into it. So, uh, this, is yep, pretty so uh, this is pretty much the last time you guys are going to see Pops. Like I said, it doesn't even matter if Pops wins. There's no way he's going to be able to make it into the playoffs at this point. Shame, but... It sucks, that's it really it, does. That's just how the cookie crumbles, as they say. Yep. So, uh, say bye to Pops. <laughs> so hopefully Pops can go ahead and entertain us. They say you, you won game one. So. Are you not entertained? <laughs> so bye, Pops. <laughs> we enjoyed it. We enjoyed yeah. your uh, You know company. what? We would have enjoyed more if, uh, if Past Daniel had edited this out. I apologize. I apologize. Like I said, <laughs> I, I, I try. I, 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 I love how you were talking. So you like, I wouldn't point it out. I was just like, no, I'm not letting you get away with this. <laughs> See, there's a thin line because I don't want to like look up because I want to keep myself, you know, and fresh. You don't want to yeah, be like, fresh, but, oblivious, yeah. you know. And to keep well, at the end of the day, when no you're sport. there, you're you're like the judge. You know what I mean? Sort of. So you've kind of got to pay attention to a degree. That's why I, I. I pretty much how I do it when we do like a post commentary like this video. I drop them both in the call. Then I have my headphones on, but I'm not watching the duel. And if they ever come to like a disagreement or an argument or something, just type. I'll get, I pause the video, get the Skype message, and uh, you know help them out. I see. I do mine differently. I just when I do, I. But I, I said I'm, I'm pretty much hoping. People. I'm pretty much hoping that they know what they're doing. So I guess if they fuck up, then I guess you know. It's my fault for not watching. Also, like something I, said. I learned, um, actually, like I said, uh, shameless plug, I did my Ritual Beast deck profile, and I was talking about how at my locals, uh, one of the games that I lost was because the guy flipped up an anti-fusion uh, area, you know, because he had it for Shadol's side in, but he flipped it up to, because I fuse, obviously, Ritual Beast. And according to uh, Mega Chaos, actually, that doesn't work versus Ritual Beast, because... Contact fusion doesn't count as fusion for some reason. No, it's just a special summon from the extra deck. Yeah, so uh, the guy cheated me. <laughs> like I said, no, no. at fucking at freaking Utah regionals, one of my friends was the one against Shadal's. The guy went Shadal fusion, and then he played Blackhorn, and then they both was like, "All right, that's fine." Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, and neither one of you guys called a judge. I'm like, both of y'all cheated, <laughs> and he won the duel because of that. You're both bad. <laughs> Anyway, we see a mulligan from Mal here, which I think is yeah. kind of meh. I mean, you had that black one. You had that macro. Like, I know that it sucks that you didn't open up with any monsters, but you probably could have stalled out. You probably yeah. could have stalled out. So hopefully that doesn't bite you in the butt, because that macro would have been delicious to have. And then the black one would have been like the cherry on top. Exactly. So. And you, and you had the space as well. Well, space wouldn't have done much, really, but you never know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe Pops opened up with macro. I mean, not macro. Why would Pops open up with macro? Yeah, oh, I'm gonna sign in macro because it I... totally doesn't fuck me in the ass. <laughs> I was thinking Royal Decree. <laughs> I don't know. I, to tell you the truth, I don't know why you didn't side out the MSTs. Yeah, but, no hey, real point. No, there's no real point. Finally, Ophion. Ophion.deck, hey, we finally see it. 
That's like that's like watching heroes play and never seeing the Dark Lord. It's like what? Don't 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 blaspheme like that. They're not heroes. They're Dark Lord that deck. That, this is Ophion that deck. At least think it can do more. But think about it. If Ophion never existed as a card, who would play Evil Swarm? Yeah. <laughs> you know that can be said about a lot of decks. You know I that's why I say, that's why I can't say world. besides Tower Turbo. I mean. Like I said, ARG banned towers, and I guess you could still run sky base if you want to, but that 500 uh, minus does make the big difference between the two cards. Yep, it does. Because you can always just summon a 3,000 monster. And I it guess just, you could always summon Diamond Crab King and Crash with well. towers. But, uh, that, you know, that makes a difference. That makes a huge difference. But, you know, besides Tower Turtles, it's not tower.deck because Cleaves generally even play without towers. God, we are seeing. A lot of uh, charge here. All mm -hmm. right, I remember this part. I remember this part, and we actually have a ruling conflict. Oh, all right. <laughs> because as you can see, he went. He went to, and went charge, milled a dragon, and he's like dragon effect. <laughs> yeah, you can't. Yeah, like no, no. Seventh cost. It yeah, work like I Shadol's. said, like Shadows don't get cost. If, if I was BAs, a... fair yeah. enough. Yep. But Shadows, no. If it's cost, it don't work. There we go. So I end up pausing it, telling them. Yeah. <laughs> telling them I, know, I know that one from uh, when I was playing like Light Spawn Shadows with Dragon Rulers and shit like that in it. Back mm -hmm. in the day. Back in my day. Yep, so sorry about the pause there. But you know, we had to go ahead and clear it up. I'm like, it, what, I'm like, what do you mean, Chain Link Dragon, Chain Link Charge? I'm like, no. You don't get for cost, and even if you did, you would totally miss timing on that. <laughs> Yes. Like, charge would have to resolve, and by then, dragon would already miss. So even if, yeah. you know, unless it was a mandatory effect, like, uh, well, Burning Bits just don't miss timing because it says if, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or is Shadol say when? So yeah. that's and actually, interesting. Actually, I think Shadol say, I think Shadol They'll say when, but they, they just yeah. don't get it for uh, cost. But, yeah, they just don't get it for cost. But they don't really, unless, unless it's for cost, they don't miss, I believe, do mm. they? I don't believe so. I don't believe so. I think no. they, they start a separate chain. Anyway, we see a light imprisoning, which I guess was pretty good, but, well, no, that galaxy is like, I'm so that light imprisoning. It's interesting that you decide to go ahead and throw the Regeki at him. I mean, you must be really afraid of the Honest. Really afraid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. I mean, I, yeah, it's just, Honest, I don't like the card, personally. If I if I could probably say there'd be one card from out that's at two that I could ban, it'd be Honest. Probably would be Honest. I'd probably go ahead, like, in the OCG and probably put Summoner Monk down to one, though. Because Summoner Monk's a very powerful card. Yeah. Yeah. You know, even, even if, like, literally, even if you're like, oh, let's go ahead yeah, and put... Yeah, there's you know, the Honest. Yep, there's the Honest. Ouch. You know, even if we're like, let's go ahead and put... Royal, let's not ban Royal Magic Library. Let's go ahead and put it down to one. All right, one Royal Magic Library, two Summoner Monk. Essentially, it's the same thing. Yeah. So, you know. And even with ARG in their new list, sort of like, all right, well, I wouldn't even even tell you the truth. When they talked about uh, putting Monster Gate up too, they're talking about, well, we have our magical library ban. It's like, yeah, but you oh. have <laughs> like I didn't even think of that going like summon a monster and then Monster Gating it into Royal yeah, Magical Library and stupid library. with that. Yeah, like, that's I something guess, that, like I wouldn't even. That's something that, that can happen, but it's nothing you could really be like planning for, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I guess you could really. And I just talked about honest, and then you see pops do the math right there. Like, well, I go up to forty-two hundred, and then you take the sub. Like, you just well, take, I, you just take the monster. damage. <laughs> Seriously, you don't have to do uh, the fucking stupid uh, shit. That was actually also at the fucking regionals, which really? is actually stupid. Yeah, it was a Tele Knight mirror match. That one guy had an Altair, the other guy had a Diamond. He goes, Diamond, attack into your Altair. The guy, Altair, goes, Honest? Then the Diamond guy goes, Honest? How much? And then the Altair go guy goes, How Chain much? Honest? Oh my god, <laughs> And then really? the Diamond guy goes, Honest? <laughs> what? <Yeah. laughs> what? Yes. <laughs> they called the judge kidding. over and the judge was just like, What the fuck? <laughs> You gotta be shitting me on that. <laughs> and oh I think that God. was for game two, which of course the person who played uh, on his first wins the because chain resolves backwards. Mm -hmm. So that was a lot of math. I think like the end the the guy who had the diamond took like sixty something. I can't remember. I did the math, but I don't remember off the top of my mind now. So I'm doing the math right now. Yeah, I took like sixty something and ended up losing the duel. I'm like. <laughs> Really? You shouldn't even chain your Honest. Like, that's where you... As soon as your opponent played Honest, like, why would you chain your Honest? Chain resolves backwards, dummy. So you're gonna lose the battle anyway. 
Anyway, we see Lamar will chain people. Yes, uh, as you, if you guys don't remember, which you guys are probably like scratching your head like, April. what? This is us. This is the April list. So Lamar mm-hmm. will chain was legal, but Minerva was not. So <laughs> fuck that bitch. <laughs> Do we even know how much Minerva is? Not that Minerva. <laughs> no, not that Minerva. Uh, I can actually look it up that quick. Wait. Oh, okay. Well, my them... eBay is. And have a look at Minerva. Seeing another light imprisoning. But you're running out of uh, steam here, Mal. That's the problem. And of course, Evil Swarms are not the greatest of top decks. You know, if you had a way to search out Karakion, then maybe. But pretty much it's Karakion and Bust. Maybe you'll have a healer trap to maybe attack with a level chain, but I really don't see you doing much of anything else. Even at this point, there's, I can't, of course, I can't check the graveyard. But at this point, there's possibly enough light time for a JD. So we're going to go ahead and see with all the chain using Yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing English, Minerva. Mm. So. I mean, has there been... I mean, there's been a YCS, but has Minerva been the price card of that YCS? There's been two, right? I don't know. I don't, I don't really keep up with YCSs and regionals and shit like that, personally, but I think not. So, I mean, I'm sure if it was... That someone would have posted it on bloody eBay, either internationally or in the UK. Someone would have fucking gone and sold that shit because big money. All right. So this is where we see another ruling problem. So. Uh, Are you shaming me? Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, Shane, you know, use my effect to hop out of the way. I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So there we go. I'm like reading. And I'm like, no, hold on. Pause the video. We have to go ahead and jump cut. So, of course... You can't use Thunderbird. You cannot use Thunderbird. There's nothing that was activated. I was surprised that you didn't chain Thunderbird effect when he used the Wobble Chain. You know, so you didn't. Summon JD doesn't start a chain, so there's nothing to chain no. to. You know, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I had to pause the video until I'm like. If you use JD's effect, then yeah, fair enough, you could have chained out the way, but. He didn't, so. He yeah, just attacked. So... And then I told him, like, no, 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 no. It's, it's Thunderbird, not Wind Up Rabbit. So. <laughs> so we had to go ahead and fix that up and. Like I said, at this point, I tell the truth, I would have went ahead and, you know, hoped that he didn't have the JD just to summon at the 3,000 meter. Went ahead, and as soon as it went low, I would chain, use my effect, hop out of the way with Thunderbird, and then came back as a 1950 beater to attack over the lava chain. Yeah. But, you know, Mal clearly messed up. Thought it was Wind Up Rabbit instead of Thunderbird, and Thunderbird died. JD is putting on back too much pressure. Like I said, unless you go ahead and top deck into <laughs> Krakion. That's it. <laughs> and we are? Yeah. So there we go, people. Pops to win two times in a row. Woo! So Pops now has three points. That was a tier three beating a tier two. So three points for Pops. But sorry, it's not enough. So Pop has three. No. And of course, this is the first week. So even if, you know, Lunar wouldn't even win, Lunar still has four points. And I believe, yeah, because Lunar, I mean, Pops lost until like these last two weeks. So even if Pops would got up to four points and, you know, I think Luna would have now. had more divisional wins. Yeah, the, the, nah, uh, Luna had the divisional wins, so even if they were tied at four. So, apologize, Pops. You did really well these last two weeks. You got your victories, but it still wasn't enough to make it to the playoffs. But thank you for being a participant in the league. We really do appreciate you. And yep. uh, thank you for giving us an entertaining duel, you know, where you think yep. that uh, Evil Swarms would be able to lock it down with Ophion, not being able to summon Synchro into Michael, or go into Black Rose, or summon that JD, or summon that BLS. You ended up pulling it off 2 0, so that's pretty good. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, um, it's fun. It's pretty good. Yep. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and call it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Season 1, Week 7, Match 1. We got, of course, three more matches before getting ready to go into the playoffs. So uh, thank you, Stanzi, once again for joining us. No problem. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all support. And yep, see you guys with more League. All right, people. Thanks for watching. <laughs>